High school teachers are expected back in their Chicago public school classrooms as soon as next week and their students a week later. Though the Chicago Teachers Union and the district have been negotiating the terms of that reopen, the two sides haven't reached a deal and the union is asking for more time. Brandis has more on this. Brandis, what are they asking for? So Paris, this morning the union said it's asking the district to delay that reopening by a week or more. The union says cases are on the rise and as vaccine eligibility expands, why not allow more time to let more people get vaccinated, especially students and their families? Our argument here is vaccinate everyone who's eligible to be vaccinated right now under the FDA rules. And if you and if you can vaccinate 16 year olds and up, um, and sort of uh, uh, address half the issue in his high school, that's, that's a real advantage. Now, we know kindergarten through eighth grade students have been back in their school buildings for the last several weeks learning in person in a hybrid schedule, but that's another concern the union has. How well is that working, they ask. The union says they'd like to see an assessment of what is working, what's not, before moving ahead with high schools. For example, Membership has reported that the health screener needed before entering a CPS building sometimes fail and people aren't able to complete it online. The union is concerned about whether there are enough contact tracers and whether as many custodians as promised are being hired. Brandis, as you know, the, the numbers of students going back for K through eight uh, lagged a little bit. What do we know about how many high school students are planning to return to in person learning? So Paris, the latest data from CPS says that almost 26,000 students across the district plan to return. That's just 35% of high school enrollment. And the district points out that that can vary widely from school to school. Some have smaller enrollments around 250. Others have thousands of students. Sin, which is the school you're looking at right here, has 1500 uh, students enrolled. Curie High School in Archer Heights has almost 3,000. The district has said because of those differences, it's allowing schools to figure out what an in-person return looks like for them with, of course, safety measures in place. But some teachers argue that's the problem. Our students are going to be taking multiple buses. Many of our students are students in temporary living situations, meaning they're either unhoused or they move from home to home or they're doubled up. They're in vulnerable positions. Their family is in vulnerable positions. And the response we've gotten from the district is very much, well, you know, we'll let y'all figure it out. We'll let your schools figure it out. Brandis, these negotiations in the past have been very contentious. Has CPS given any indication that it is willing to agree to this delay that CTU is asking for? Well, they have given an indication, and the answer is no. They're not willing to agree to it, Paris. Uh, the mayor was asked about this today, and she points to the agreement that the district reached with teachers to reopen schools a couple of months ago that lays out what conditions would warrant uh, a closure to the classroom, uh, the school, or the district level. That's already baked into the plan, so we're going to follow the plan. There's no basis for us to renegotiate that. The terms are ones that were agreed to by the CTU just a matter of a few weeks ago. I see no basis for delay, and it's my expectation that we're going to be opening up high schools as uh, indicated by CPS. Now, the mayor went on to say that she is in touch with Chicago Public Health Commissioner Allison Arwady multiple times a day regarding the city's uh, rising case rates, and she sees nothing that would trigger uh, a closure. And actually, late this afternoon, we did receive a statement from CDPH Health Commissioner Dr. Allison Arwady. Um, that's not in on the screen, it, but basically, Dr. Arwady says that based on the current data, there's no reason to delay the opening of schools, um, but that with recent increases in COVID cases, uh, that's largely been driven by young adults aged 18 to 39, not those who are under the age of 18. Now, I will say the district also uh, sent us a statement as well that says, quote, while our discussions with CTU have been productive, it is disheartening to see yet again that CTU is choosing to create uncertainty for families and their own members when they know and privately agree that our high schools are safe and prepared to open. CPS also points to its March board meeting where they announced intentions to prioritize vaccinations for students over age 16 after staff vaccinations and that they are working with CDPH on that plan. Meanwhile, Paris CTU President Jesse Sharkey says he plans to have a union wide discussion on negotiations tomorrow and they expect bargaining will probably continue into the weekend. Paris, back to you.